style and broad patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. So I got coffee at my local coffee shop, and now I'm going to head out to uh, Southwest Ridge Trail, I think, because Ledges Trail was a little too packed for me, and I don't want to pass the same people eight times going up and down on short repeats. So let's find a non-busy trail. Brooks Catamount 2 doing a review on these shoes on Wii Views that's going to be published this weekend sometime. I love them so far. They're super stable for technical trails and I love that for my Wii Giggles. So on the way over here I was listening to that Triathlon Life podcast and it was like just what I needed to hear on the way to a workout because they were talking about what does this workout need to look like to be effective? And sometimes I can get a little too excited when I'm going into a workout, like just thinking about, oh, yeah, let's go get it. Let's go crush these reps as hard as I can. And it's like, that's not what you need to do. And that might be a little too risky and not provide any additional benefit. In fact, it might extend your recovery time so make you less able to train in the following few days. So it's like, what, what do we need to do to just make this effective? And just consciously think about that before going into the workout. So that's what I'm doing. This is my last big workout before the US Mountain Running Trail Qualifier for the World Mountain Running Championship. And I am so blessed that this qualifier is in New Hampshire, which is really close to me. Um, so I can go and compete in literally the most stacked field that I think trail running has ever seen on the women's side. It's insane. I'm so excited to meet like my absolute idols in the sport. <laughs> so um, like Grayson Murphy, Ali Ostrander, um, who I think is going to win um, either one or both days. Uh, Ali Mack, um, so many more people, like, it's incredible. I should talk about what the workout is. So it's a 15 minute warm up and then five by four minutes, kind of hard uphill, and then go right into two minutes really hard. So we're going to look for a distinct change in heart rate between that four minute and two minute interval. So I love uphill intervals. My uphill running, uphill anything is like my favorite thing ever. So I'm super excited for this. Going hard uphill is the best thing in the world. late April in Western Maine, and it doesn't get better than this. To our first interval. I'm excited. <sighs> okay, it's hard. One time. This is gonna be effective though. I got one 
more to go. And I needed a snacky. Gotta oh, keep moving on. Oh, this is hard. Well, <clears throat> I finished a few minutes ago. Just needed to die on this rock for a sec. Whew. Um, that was hard. I am uh, gonna head down now as a cool down. Took about an hour, including the 15 minute warm up. God, I love this mountain. I, I don't think I mentioned, but this is the mountain that I live on, but this is the west side. I live on the east side, so if I wanted to, there's a kind of a quadrant of trails making like an X shape across the mountain. So I could just go back up and summit and then down to my apartment, which I will do, I have done and I will do again, but today I just drove over to the other side. But if I ever have a long run, that's what I'm gonna do. I might actually do that this weekend. Because what's more fun than that? There's so many ways to like link up trails and roads around this mountain. Not to mention the skiing. Could go for a ski later because there's still snow as we saw earlier. But I'm on more of a regiment as this race is coming up. So I um, don't want to do anything extra. Just sticking to the plan for the next nine days. so excited about this. So we've got smashed avocado, salt and pepper, mustard, dill pickles, sandwich pickles, turkey, cottage cheese, pickled onions, and hot sauce. 